Thex Kitchen. Yeah, I brought his big knife. squash. Whoa, that's it. Ooh, watch out. Ugh. I, did, right. I didn't even clean it. I apparently oh, didn't even clean that. Oh my I, gosh. I did have to take the cobwebs off of it. it oh, was, wow. You know, back in the. Oh, no. In that cabinet? In that cabinet. That people there, there's walk some by every day and say, spider what webs. What is that? The spider webs that's in there. That's a pretty good How knife, those spices Michael that Marks. Are in that that's cabinet? a pretty good knife. Those spices are, are quite old. Because <laughs> you've worked here for how many years? Uh, 33 years. Is that a cat? Yeah. Wow. That's worth some applause. Okay. One applaud. Uh, so, so anyway. We learned what these are. We I learned mean, what they are. Also, all I heard was butternut squash. But because acorn. that's your favorite, right? Yeah. You love butternut squash. Butternut squash, if, if you want to learn about the hard winter squash, there's a couple you should start with. Okay. Butternut squash is one of them because it's one of the easiest to work with. Okay. Just get a vegetable peeler out, you can easily peel it. Then take your knife and easily cut it. You don't need to get out the rubber mallet yeah. and the big knife, so yeah. it's much easier. Uh, also, another one here is the delicata. Very, very easy to work with. You don't need a, a mallet and a big knife. Just take your regular knife, slice it in half. Delicata, I love the delicata. It has a little bit of a, a corn flavor mm -hmm. to it. Uh, if you want to try something really good, Sunset Magazine said the best tasting of all the hard winter squash is this tiny little one right here. Really? The Jackby Little Mini Pumpkin has the best flavor. I don't of... think a lot of people realize you can cook with that. Yeah, most people just think it's decoration. Yeah. But yeah, it's fantastic, fantastic. Really? Okay. Uh, also, these other small ones are very easy to get into. So how do you get into these big ones like, like this one? Yeah. So you get out your biggest knife you can, and you get out oh your boy. rubber mallet. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So you could even do this. Okay. Tina, here, you go ahead and take that and wow. slam it down. You ready? Yep. Oh, Whoa. look at oh, that. See how easy? That. Nobody, oh, nice. was, nobody was hurt. And okay. so now what you're going to do, you're going to take this, you're going to turn it upside down in, in a, on a baking sheet. Okay. And you can bake it like that. You make, make sure you do it upside down, just like that. Why? Uh, it's because all the moisture is going to go right up into there. And You got a question, it. Jordan? I was like, why upside down? I just told you why, because all the moisture is now going to go up into it. If you do it like this, all the moisture is going to escape. Okay, so leave the seads in there while we're leave cooking the seeds it, in and there, then clean that, it later. Yeah, easy to clean out. Okay. okay. So the other uh, thing you can do, mm -hmm. uh, hold on just a second. Oh, we're Ooh, pretending. Hot, hot, out, oh, out, out, Don't do this at home. Hot, that is hot. Oh, that's I, spaghetti squash. Yeah, I put it in there for six minutes. Oh, it is. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I, I put a little vent in it. See the little vent? Oh, that's oh, what's I put out a little vent in there. All right. So it's this spinning. is another way uh, I've softened the skin just enough. Oh, right. Okay. Where you don't but have. How to... long do we do that for? I put it in there for six minutes. I know, but other squashes are thicker. Uh, yeah. Well, test it. Okay. You know, I went and tested it. Okay. So now, now you can go finish baking this. Again, put it upside down. Okay. With the cut side down, just All like right. so, Got onto it. a baking sheet. Okay. And you love that one because. It turns uh, into spaghetti, right? Spaghetti. Oh yeah, I don't like that one. Oh, you don't. Oh, you like don't. That. Oh, I thought you liked that one. That no, is my like favorite. That. That's my favorite. It's you fun. Like it? Yeah, because it can. It's like you're eating oh. carbs, but you're not. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Okay. You're eating carbs, but you're not. <laughs> this is a good one too. <laughs> this is like spaghetti. Acorn squash, yeah, mixed with uh, some wild rice in there, maybe yeah. some sausage. Yeah. Wow. Would be really good with that one. Okay. And Ooh, some yes. uh, dried cranberries would be good mm. in, inside that. That sounds. Well. I'm too intimidated by all this. Well, it seems like a lot of work. I made it easy for you. Yeah, but then I gotta bake it, and I gotta wait, then I gotta do something else, make soup. <laughs> Good things just, are worth waiting I, for. I just Tina. go to a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, can I have some butternut squash? Ravioli. Oh, look, it's ready. <laughs> yeah, ravioli. Do, do that. Thanks, Michael. <laughs> you bet. Appreciate it. All right, there you go, Jordan. Back over to you. All right, I'll take the spaghetti squash, Michael Marks. <laughs> I'll take the spaghetti.